Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Dark Arc issue number 10. So there's a common theme going throughout these books and it's the, the, the art of lying. And we're going to get into that in just a moment. Let me first give credit where credit is due. We know that the writer is Cullen Bunn. Uh, Juan Doe is the artist. Ryan Hill is the letterer. And uh, John J. Hill is the logo designer. Uh, Juan Doe also does the cover. Uh, this particular issue is called Famine or Feast, issue number 10. So we get a, a couple, of, it's funny, we, we get a story, but there's a couple moments where we go back before the flood, before everybody actually got onto the ark. And it's interesting. His daughter, who uh, Shrey's daughter, who's always shown to have been a very cool, relaxed, quiet, reserved, and polite person, a good person... Um, here she kind of gnaws her, not gnaws, but she gnashes her teeth a little bit at somebody in one of the, the pre boarding of the arc, the dark arc uh, stories, which I found to be interesting. And there's the mention of everybody changes once you're actually on the arc. Uh, I don't know how long Shrey has not wanted to be the evil sorcerer anymore. How long he's repented and wanted to be free of having to go to hell because he took all this power from Satan or whoever his dark lord is. But it's interesting. I, I really want to see who all is uh, changing. And, and the only way we're going to do that is to see who was different before. Um, again, we saw in the, what was it, the previous issue or the issue before that? I think it was the previous issue where the one girl... She abandoned her child. She abandoned her son just because she wanted to get on the ark. And, like, what a mistake that was, huh? So in this one, Akinda, whatever the um, this, this mother of monsters is, it's funny seeing, first off, seeing her at all. I have a lot to say about this, but I don't want this to be a half-hour-long video. Seriously, I could talk about this in ex uh, excess. First, the idea that she would show herself, I, I thought from the beginning was a mistake. Hey, it was cool. It's always cool seeing a reveal, but once you have that reveal, suddenly you lose everything that was mysterious about this. You know, a creature in the, you know, in the shadows or, or a, a creature under the sea in this particular moment, just, you know, a, a shadow under the sea that's larger than the Ark itself. That to me is way more terrifying all right, way more terrifying than the reveal of the monster. That's your jump scare. Everything after that is eh, whatever, you know? So so I thought that it wasn't such a great idea. But here, it, it made sense knowing where Cullen Bunn was actually going with this. Because Akinda, whatever, the mother of monsters, is killed in this issue. Shrey does it. But the way that he does it is interesting. It's not about his great power, like as far as sending lightning from the sky that, you know, that killed the Pegasi before. No, 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 no. This is an entirely different kind of power. His greatest power. And that's his power of lying. It's, it's sickening. Some people who have the, the gift of gab or that, you know, that presence, that awe that, or, or the aura about them. You know, where they can actually get people to do things that they otherwise wouldn't do. Get them to believe or think in ways that they probably wouldn't think otherwise or never knew that they did think that way. It's funny the way the charisma works. It could be the dumbest person on the face of the planet, but they talk with such a good game and they, they believe that they at least appear to believe their own bull. So that level of confidence kind of washes over others and makes them believe in it also. It can get people to drink Kool-Aid with Drano in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that is Shrey. He is a cult of personality. It's, it's amazing. And the promises that he makes to people, like he got people to work and build his arc, his dark arc, and then allowed certain of them to come on to Oh, just to be food. Well, the food problem is also solved in this one. And very interesting way of doing it also. Also involving lies. And Shrey's daughter asks, so did you, did you lie about us also? You know, meaning his family. It's all cute. 
But the question that wasn't asked, but that's most prominent in my mind is, that dark Lord that he's worshiping, how truthful is that dark Lord? How free is Shrey really going to be? Did he actually sign a contract? I'm, ah, oh man, this issue, it didn't have the great, you know, zap, zap, zap powers that we'd seen here and there. Instead, we're seeing that Shrey's true power is the ability to lie and just get people to believe him and just lie to their face, man. Wow. I'm, I'm seeing it. I see you. <laughs> this was a great issue. I really dug this, the, the psychology behind this issue. Uh, that's really all I got. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.